What business have you here? Does that make you... the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. This might contain useful information. A thorough peruse. Say, have you heard? They finally caught the fiend behind those ox cart raids. Aye, they caught someone. But word is he's just at Abdon Benjamin's all bent up over it. Tell is, he's still interrogating the lad, trying to get all he can out of him about the Coral Snake's operations. Wants to make a clean job of it, like. Well, here's hoping it puts those snakes to rout for the welfare of this city and our stomachs. Follow me. Here at last. Good day, sir. This tavern is open to aye, even pawns. So long as they've coined for their ale. Well met, sir. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern, even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. It is a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in Bakbatal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this, then. Simply show it to one of the sentries and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn heart. A simple plan, I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. Simply show it to one of the sentries, and you'll... They are harsh in their persecution. A simple plan, I know, but is it... Well met, sir. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you, then? Always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch, in my case. As a matter of fact... All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here, in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar Batal coast, and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. that wants a nuke. Have you seen the Empress's dance? She the event bears some grand title, though I've long forgotten it. Most of us simply call it the Fire Fair. 
Her Majesty's grace is a sight to behold, and the blessings she invites are wondrous indeed. Long may she reign. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Say, have you seen any statues about? Solid stone ones, carved in the likeness of monsters. Tell is, quite a number of them were found not long ago, just west of the Agamemnon ruins. Here's the curious part, though. The things look damn near real. So real, in fact, that collectors were willing to pay outlandish sums of gold for them. Would that I'd gotten my hands on one. Suppose I'll just have to hope there are more of them out there somewhere. Those statues fit. I hope the day's treating you well. Welcome and well met. If you seek lodgings in Backward, as a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate, we offer excellent service at a fair price. Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? We pawns cannot set foot in Batal without feeling the people's contempt for us. Take heart, for we are fulfilling our duty at the Arisen side. We have naught to be ashamed of. You have my admiration. I doubt even my own master has obtained an article so rare. See, look at my wares. But be sure to buy aught. My services don't come... You're welcome. Me? I sell diff- Now, this hardly bears saying, but don't you de-
Captain, but don't you... Many thanks. How might I aid you, sir? Interested in my wares? Look as long as you please. Do come again. One day, I'm going to have proper rain. I... Oh, I can't complain. What do you think? I've lived in this city for half citizens are chased away the moment they approach. But you can hear eerie. No oh, and those few who do frequent the, the work they do is for the benefit of all Batal, or so they claim. I what do you think? Lots to do. The same for the roads. Hear this. Last week, I passed along the Alta Patal and what did I find but the most gorgeous shards? Then, as I boasted of my finds at the tavern, a man from the Forbidden Magic... I threw out a price. Figured I'd see where we stand and all. Only for him to double it on the spot. Seems the shards are treasures that washed up from the sea floor on a cat. It's my duty to hear the people's concern. You there. Have you a home in Batal? If not, now, I've noticed you tend to travel with pawns. Bold choice here in Batal, where they're ill-loved. So I thought you might prefer a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well, what say you? Not feeling so keen, are you? Well, you'll not... you come from? Did Clark send you? Oh no, he did, didn't he? I'm sorry. I I'm really, truly very sorry. I haven't slept a wink, I swear it. Well, I suppose I might have fallen asleep once or twice, but it isn't as if I've I simply haven't been able to devise any good ideas. I tell you, this arrangement has been an encumbrance on my mind from the very beginning. While I am glad that the old man appreciated my talents enough to commission me, it doesn't change the facts. I can only depict subjects that I've seen with my own two eyes, which makes things rather difficult. Give Say, you appear a rather strapping sort. Would you be persuaded to bring me to a griffin? It will be well worth any trouble. Clark shall pay handsomely to see this done. And you... I've heard aught of a griffin's nesting place. Do keep in mind, however, that you must needs drag the battle out if I am to complete my sketch. Of course, I, I could look as long as I pleased if you were to petrify the beast. Indeed. A beast frozen in place would be much more easily drawn. Tis said that a famed sculptor of Eld used a Medusa's severed head to petrify her subjects before sketching them. Of course, I wouldn't presume to demand aught so legendary of you, Arisen. I only then I shall depart at once. Pray. Meet me at the foot of the Guerco Mountain.
Interested in my wares? Make it quick. I The world's changing. Not sure how much longer I can keep the inn open. It's tough. Do come again. Boy, what's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well? Got something you want to save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a... All you've got to do is prove your metal against these sods alone. That is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Put your back into it! I shot him to get away. Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. It is not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not, but I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Oi, bring it out! Where's that reprobate gotten off to? We'll see if you can escape me a second. Torched! Quick! Douse the flames! I, I don't believe it. You're a bloody menace, you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. <sighs> Fine work, that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, it is my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. Greetings, Sir Arisen. Sir Manella would speak with you in the palace. Pray seek her out at your earliest. Hoy, looking to change you? No need to overthink it. You can change it on a whim. You've naught to lose. I am honored, Master. This Maester's teaching is a precious gift. I swear, if you've got a. Rec I always have a warm welcome for a customer. Good day, sir.
I'll not take that lying down. Mm. My bed calls. And a sharp resist. Fancy meeting you here. Fancy hiring me on. You pa- Someday, I'll forge a blade fit to slay. If you need something, just say. If tis a blacksmith you need. Oh ho! Tis a regalia sword you want restored, is it? That's a first. <laughs> All right, give us a look then. Now, here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I hear saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But, as I've said, I've laid down my tools, and before you start begging, know that I don't intend to pick them back up. Well, why are you still standing there? Leave an old man in peace. That went rather poorly, I fear. Still here. My smithing days are done. I'll not be repairing that sort. Beg pardon, sir, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood ever eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel. Now, I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here? Of course you can. You go enjoy yourself. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. It was special made to use glimmer coal, mined from a nearby cavern. Till the monsters settled in, that is. Listen, Brock is too proud to ask for help, but I'm not. Would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some glimmer coal? I'll take as much as you can carry. Should you succeed, I reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours. Now, true to its name, Glimmer Coal emits a pale light. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you get to the cavern. Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots. If we can procure... If you can bring us some... As I've said, Glimmer Coal, and so you'll want to cast your eyes about... Digger's Ruins. That... Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinia during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, 
but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again, yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you my deepest thanks? Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. Do you know how long you'll be? I only asked so that I might adopt the most effective stance to recuperate my strength. I've got nothing for ye. Entry beyond this point is only permitted to it is clear at a glance that you are not one of them. As you do not wear the prov- I've got my eye on you. Greetings. How fare you? I'm an awful idiot. I can't seem to find it. That is not to be so disparaging. Have no fear, Master. I'll fare all right without you for a little while. Tis not our place. Hmm. And who might? Sir Arisen. Sir Armhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen. Come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten her. Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Indeed. We are well glad of your ere Her Majesty's supplications begin. I shall give you a description of our target. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. How can I get this color to come out brighter? Hmm, what do ye want? Hmm. Who are ye supposed to be? Fie! Are they on to me? Ah, oh, shut it! Apprehend him at once! That man there is the assassin! Nicely done, Sir Arisen. 
Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, Your Majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Vital is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently, and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. I am proud to carry out my duty. My sincerest gratitude for protecting the Empress. Thank you, Sir. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. What you need of me? Everyone's as tired as I am. Oh, I don't know. I'm in fine. Not a foe in sight. I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. I would have preferred to have the fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. Here, an enchanted hold to freeze our foes. I would have preferred not to 
have to fight so soon. But at least I know I'm up to the challenge. We must not let down our guard. I shall return. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the run. It is our first time in this place. We would do well to be wary. Keep stout of heart and clear of mind. protection.
trade. Allow me to open your chest. Whoever said foraging was unseemly, never knew a day of hard travel. Our bellies will last a little longer. Cyclops' armor is hard as rock. Our weapons shan't pierce it, so we'll have to remove it or adjust our aim. Lightning is its weakness and our strength. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it.
fond of picking things up, aren't you? <sighs> Gathering materials makes for dull work indeed. Seek you passage to the southwest. I'd advised against it, sir. Tis a forbidden place. And for good reason. Those who tread near are said to be devoured, you see. I heard one survivor tell of how his companion went suddenly quiet, and when he turned round to see what was wrong with her, her head fell off and crumbled into dust. You hear a lot of those stories round here. I've met people who've lost arms and legs, or else watched their friends get rent in two so fast they were still crawling as they died. Should you choose to go there in spite of my warning, sir, on your head be it. But I pray you'll return to tell us what you saw. I'd be well eager to learn of it. Oh, no sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early Griffin gets the worm. Dare I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. Come chasing us as well, have you? Aye, rumors abound of the Shrine of Eld in this domain. Could be hiding all manner of priceless treasures, couldn't it? And if monsters happen to be guarding it, I shan't be afeard. Nay, I'll strike them down with tooth and claw. That's how I plan to make a name for myself, see? We've a choice of where to go. But how to know the path best travelled? Do we decide based on our experience or trust to our instincts? Watch out for the knackers, Master! We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness!
I'll gather this. It might be of use. You're all out of luck. Who's there? Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Prepare yourself. strength. I recommend a swift retreat. I'm not sure what to tell you. Protected by armies, but with a single glance. We could say outclass even the dragon in strength. Clear your mind of such destructions. We must focus on felling the beast.
The scum. Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! Oh, I'll take that. We might want it. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? Where are the skeletons? We have no means of exploiting our enemy's weakness. Enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. I was wondering when you'd show. Now, are you ready to aid? Remember, you'll need to draw the fight out as long as you can. I must behold the creature from every angle if I am to coax it lifelike from the stone. Marvelous. Up we go then. Let us accompany Sir Fulvio and face this griffin. We ought not lose sight of our guide. Positively splendid. Can it be? Did you use a Medusa's head just now, Arisen? Pray, show it to me. Oh, no, wait. On second thought, best not. But to think you would be in possession of such a thing, you certainly are full of surprises. I cannot thank you enough, Arisen. With this, I shall doubtless be able to chisel a griffin most glorious.
As a matter of fact, I shall never forget the agony I felt at the coronation. We must needs uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. Ort fell from the beast as it breathed. Hang in there, master! I am coming to assist! Are you just clinging to every last coin? Mm -hmm. of any adventure. The location of another of our tasks is not far from here. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. I knew you would come, a risen one. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you what I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth, a warmth akin to your own arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. Twould seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if you would learn from him. Gathering materials makes... Can it be you are lost? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead, if you see. You will find the path you ought to follow inscribed herein. Would you know the fate of... This meeting shall not be... Would you mind coming over here? really are hidden in the most unlikely places, aren't they? A splendid discovery. Ha! Ah, I'll have to remember to tell my own master about this. Well done, Arisen One. You have seen through my deception and divined my location true. 
To one of your wisdom, I would be honored to pass on the most subtle of my trickster's arts. Seems a decent spot for a campsite. Mayhap we ought to return. <laughs> that was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. reasons for doing battle, but no, that doesn't make it any easier to join the fray. You have my support. Feeling about this one, we should be able to move this bolt with our combined might. Shall we set it rolling? Chickens, <laughs> how quaint! Let us not disturb them. The cry of a chicken carries for leagues around. How we might reach it? Let me be the one to collect it. Oh. 
if I might be so bold as to speak my mind. Tremendous work! Once more! That was incredible. Never have I encountered such a strategy. Truly? Arisen. You have been doused in oil! Pray slow your feet! You run too fast for the likes of me! Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Now a quarry shall... 
We have found a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Hand over all the coin in your purse now. Be ready! Our foes are armed! and our sturdy creatures, aren't they? It's best to know all of these creatures be. Surely a rest can work. I shan't allow any further harm. It seems we have enraged our foe. Why do we not use their rage to our advantage? Formidable foe. That was impeccably timed, Arisen. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Good sleep is the key to a good adventure. One can see well into the distance from here. Vermin has its charms, but so too Batal. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Ah. 
vast the sea is. I imagine we would not escape a plunge into the water's depths. Oi, you're better off turning back. That cavern is not for mortal feet to tread. Tis a maze, with monsters round every wretched corner. I dare say none could pass through those tunnels and live to tell the tale. A cry and shame tis. Fuse the merchant who can cross yon bridge. I'd thought this my chance to make some decent coin. We've quite the combination of vocations in our party. No two are alike. Our respective... Ab What do you want? I'm in no mood to have my ear talked off, thank you. My back's a fire. I can scarce talk for the pain. Leave an old man be. Mind, I wouldn't say no to some wild flowers if you happen to have any with you. A handful of those, and I could prepare a poultice that'd help. What is it now? Unless you brought me some wild flowers, I prefer to be left alone. Well, that was most kind of you. Right, here goes naught. Ah, that did the trick. Relief at last. I was beginning to fear that I'd be stuck here for the rest of my days. I've a mind to thank you, sir. Would you look in on me at my home? I live nearby. There aren't too many houses out here, so you'll find it soon enough, I expect. An abandoned campsite. Just waiting to be claimed. Let us keep this place in mind for when night falls. Traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? Oh, well spotted. Most impressive. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? I Beg pardon, sir, but... Forgive me, dear. I forgot to tell you. I asked this good sir to look in on me. Oh, not this again. How many times have I begged you not to bring strangers into our home? I know, dear, but this one's a kindly sort. Brought me the wildflowers I needed to make it home when I threw out my back. It is always one reason or another, isn't it? And has it e'er ended well for us? Not one. Mark my words, no one wanders this far out unless they are running from... This one's different, I promise you. 
You've heard tell of the Arisen, have you not? The hero who travels far and wide to track and fell the dragon. Oh? So this stranger claims to be the Arisen? <laughs> Believe what you will, but expect no hospitality from me. You will have to forgive my wife. She has her reasons for being mistrusting, but you deserved a warmer welcome than that. Now let me fetch your reward. Wait. Ah, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Fie! My back! I've done it in again! Goat Stuffer, when will you learn to be more gentle with yourself? Oh, hold your tongue! All the gentleness in the world won't stop the earth from coming on when twill. It's only gotten worse of late. There's naught for it but to make for the curative spring. In your state, you'll never reach it. And that's to say nothing of the monsters that haunt the roads out there. They'll be on you in a moment if they see you limping along on your own. Oh, would that I could take you to the spring myself, but alas, I... Don't even think on it, my dear. I'd not ask that of you, knowing how crowded places of that ilk make you... But what are we to do? I fear for you, my love. The hot spring over... Fear not. You'll have your reward. I just knew you'd be willing to... You see, my dear, what did I tell you? The Arisen's a goodly sort. I have an eye for people. Oh, don't be a fool, Gaustaffer. You have barely spoken to this person. What if you were being deceived? Did you think of that? Come. Surely there are far more clever lies to tell if one's intent is to swindle. I'm not sure I can afford to refuse aid so freely given. So be it, then. Tis plain your mind's made up. We'd uh, best be along. Pray see my husband safely to the encampment. I shall await your return. Wait to find out what's inside. Would that such tranquility could last. I quite agree. This curative spring sounds as if it would do wonders for an aching back. Let us see the good dwarf there post haste. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. and proud. This curative spring sounds as if it would do wonders for an aching back. Let us see the good dwarf there post haste. Pray, allow me to show you the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. Oh, 
I trouble to walk a bit slower? My back is like to... Now that is a surprise. I'll harvest what I can, should it please you. You'll be all right now. It is rather valuable, this. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Over here, if you please. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Let us ponder how best to proceed. Following along, I trust. Take care not to lose sight of me. fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. Methinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Would anyone care to push?
You would gather materials here, Molster. Can we really afford to carry more? Searing heat or freezing cold? Which is the greater hardship, I wonder? Remain focused. Clouded mind shall serve you poorly in an ambush. Pray, follow me. Hey, friend. Nearly not. Arisen. While we're here, shall we take care of that other task we were entrusted with as well? Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Would you mind coming over here? Gather these now. It would be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. Follow me, if you would. Way, master. I am well enough, thank you. Lo, 
A ballista! It is not how we use this, but when that counts. I imagine it would be most bit of greeting, Sir Arisen. Have you the injury I sustained in Her Majesty's defense is healing steadily? Yet twill be so though I am grateful for this opportunity to convalesce. I grow restless. As there is a matter, I wish to know the identity of the villain. The rogue you captured has been questioned at length. But last I heard has yet to re So the brigand claims to have been employed by the coral snakes. Interesting. Whoever is truly behind this has covered their tracks well. But if Her Majesty is to be protected, we must flush the betrayer out at all costs. Might I beg a moment of your what I'm about to reveal is known only to a select few in all Batar. I trust you will be during his interrogation. The brigand let slip that another assassin would be in the name of caution. Her Majesty has taken up residence in a location known only to me. There she will remain till the danger has passed. With Her Majesty safe, and the knowledge of the Coral Snake's involvement under our belt, it is time for us to make our move. Yes, Sir Arisen. I mean to draw the villain who set this scheme in motion out of the shadows in which they lurk. My plan is thus. You will inform the Coral Snakes of the Empress's location. A false one, of course. Tell them that you have her in your custody, and that if they wish to confirm her identity, they must come to the empty abode south along Flamebearer Palace Road. It is my hope that this will lure the mastermind to the fall. For you. I say we speak with anyone and everyone who springs to mind. You never know what sort of useful tidbits we might turn up. Over here, if you please. Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Here we are. Huh. That's like to make me sick, it is. Still, there's not a swig of newt lick I can't fix, I always say. Boy there, come at a fine time, yeah. Care for a rotten egg? It was soft boiled right here in the hot spring. It is mostly sand. Won't kill you anymore. Huh. Bought me some newt liquor. <laughs> Many thanks. Mm. There's naught finer than a gulp of newt liquor. After a hot bath, it is bliss, pure and simple. But I'll need me a nibble to go with my dandy hatch. I suppose you deserve aught for your trouble. Here you are, cuz. A soft boiled egg. Last, I've ne'er seen a more welcome sight. The spring here has been visited since time prevailed for its curative properties. I only hope to be able to ease the ache. I'll go have my soap now, if it is all the same to you. Can't have clear. Ooh! Twould seem I owe you a debt of gratitude. And an apology. True to your word, you have seen my husband safely to the spring. I was so afeared for his well-being, I couldn't bring myself to sit at home, waiting, wondering. So I followed you at a distance, though now I see I needn't have. My husband and I are met with persecution everywhere we turn, you see. More than one village we thought to call home has driven us away. That is why we live in so far flung a place. Gaustafa can bear the judgment well enough, but I cannot. You, at least, have proven deserving of our trust. 
My husband was right about you. You are a kind soul, indeed. I shall not soon forget this good turn you've done my husband and I. You are welcome to visit us again, if your travels should happen to take you as far as our abode. I would fain lend you my skills as magic archer maester. And I'm certain my husband would be only too glad to take up his blacksmith's hammer for your sake. Sir Cleuna was the magic archer maester all along. Short though our acquaintance may be, your kindness and sincerity have earned my respect. And so, to aid you in your duty, I would grant you this technique, my most guarded secret as maester of my art. Greetings. I expect you must be weary from your... Its healing waters draw upon the volcano's natural heat. Always a pleasure. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. I would appreciate your swift return, master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. It is not our place to hurry the arisen. What do you want? You've got the Empress. This some kind of jape? Suppose the fact you're telling this to me means you're in the know. You one of us? Right then. I'll pass these tidings along to our interested party. Where should I tell them to find you? The empty house south of the Pilgrim's Path, is it? Fair and fear not. I'll arrange for the interested party to meet you in the empty house. I ought to report, have you? the stars shine, Master. Right you are. <sighs> this is a good find. A fitting reward for a rigorous search. Might I implore you to play the part of a bandit, Sir Arisen? As one of Her Majesty's champions, my face is like as not to be known to our villain. I have also employed the aid of a woman resembling Her Majesty in stature and build. She will fulfill the role of Empress during the exchange. No, Manella. We must go ourselves. Your Majesty, I don't think... Should the ruse be discovered too soon, the renegade may flee and escape justice. We must confront them, so that our land and its people may ne'er endure such uncertainty again. Understood. Then I shall guard your majesty with my life. We must needs be ready for whate'er comes, Sir Arisen. It seems you are called upon to act alone. I suspect the villain will approach on- I am glad to hear it, and not a moment too soon. We have refined a way to loosen the villain's tongue. I shall remain hidden till the op- I am come. Would you kindly open- Let us not waste time. I am here to confirm the identity of your captive and not- Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Indeed. Tis the Empress and none other, fortunately for you. Had it been any, tis by the Coral Snakes' failure that she yet lives. I trust you are prepared to rectify this mistake. Go on, kill her. That is far enough. You must forgive me. 
I suspected foul dealings from the moment I heard the Empress was being held here. However, with this display you have earned my trust. In truth, she cannot die here. We must have her meet her, and in a place more fitting. Tell me, do you know what it takes to inspire action in this world? Tragedy. Yes, tragedy. The emotion that floods forth in the wake of such events can change the world entire. Consider what a tragedy of singular measure, such as that of a great leader martyred for her ideals could achieve. Why? The flames of revolution would burn eternal. A worthy funeral pyre for an empress, wouldn't you agree? And so Her Majesty's tragedy must be made a spectacle of, that all Batal might bear witness and shed tears of blood. So this was your aim. It all becomes clear. On your knees, we have you surrounded. Sir Armhild! So it was you! Manella, this little ruse was your doing, I suppose. And as for your majesty, I must say I am disappointed. You would go so far to save your own neck, rather than do what is best for the future of this country. We understand what you desired to achieve. Yet we also believe that no ideal can truly be born from bloodshed. Perhaps you will ponder this in your solitude. By our authority as Empress, we hereby place you under arrest. Sir Ermhild's was a vile plot. I only hope she is the last villain seeking to advance her aims through murder. We pity Ermhild, but her ideals are not our own. I shall escort Sir Ermhild to her cell. I... That fool understands naught. Does she think she... 